guys coming out of the military are the ones you, you, you went to because you wanted to get the good training from them. Well, that all changed because competition came along. And then the military started going to the competitive shooters. Air marshals, federal guys, they're all going to the top competitive shooters to learn how to do things better because the competitive guys had to win. They had to be fast. Now, tactical guys are like, we don't learn from competitive guys, but you're wrong. You have. It's been at the top tier of those guys, and they all learned it, and now you're going to the second source to get it from them. So, so there's been some good improvements in the last years. All right? um, I, I started carrying a gun in the 80s, and it was a revolver. So we've really moved along since then in ways to manipulate it. I shot from a weaver stance, which everybody scoffs at now, but it was the top. The weaver stance is this. This was a way to fight. All right? We did thumbs locked or thumbs up. All this stuff has changed. So we're going to learn better ways to do things. Now, you have to think what's right for you, not what I say, not what your favorite guru says, but what works, what can you effectively do. And then you need, if you decide to make a change, realize there's a whole bunch of practice behind it to make it better. Um, we don't have to do a lot of reloads in a gunfight, but malfunctions happen a lot because you cause them. You put your thumb in the wrong place and you put pressure on that gun, so you have to be able to clear a malfunction. So the idea of not having to do the tap if you've, had, you've got a good diagnostic feel, I've had bullets come out of it, we know the magazine's seated. All right? That one thing, if it gets us back in the fight. If not, we know we're going to have to get a fresh magazine anyway. That's our diagnostic. So just, just figure, play with it, see if it works for you. And you alone. Cool.